What's up, bus invaders? What's we up, are Crown bro? the Empire. Welcome to our motherfucking bus. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the Crown the Empire bus. We are currently on the Hollywood Undead tour right now. Um, it's us, Hollywood Undead, and I Prevail. Free man package, and it's going great. We're at the tail end of it right now. We got like about a week left. We're sitting here with Tyler, the drummer for Undead right now. He's playing a little FIFA. He's chilling. The satellite is because it's 2015. It actually works, so like we actually yeah. can watch TV. Um, we yeah. always have like old 90s movies. I just watched Grind from start to finish the other night. If you remember that skateboarding movie, oh, yeah. it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. uh, no movies. Uh, we're always listening to music. Front lunch, back lunch. We have like USB cords, aux cords everywhere, so everyone's playing Spotify. Everyone's yeah. playing music all the time. Um, yeah, front lounge is just like where it's like the common area where like if we just bring friends on, everyone can hang out up here. This first cabinet is the Xbox. There's nothing in there. So well, it's in here, yeah, yeah. It's just it's like, like no, you change the Xbox, Xbox controllers and, shit. and yeah. everything. You know, towels just in case you start sweating. I don't know. What's the top like food? Let's see, lighting in the bus. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's babies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're like so big. Ahead. This is terrible. The first one you yeah, pull out. Come on. No it's the notebook. Here. Oh, what's this we're doing? Here? <laughs> Who the fuck watches Twilight? Oh my god, they did two of the oh, worst wait. ones. Mean Girls, though. I oh, am Legend. Mean, mean Girls. Yeah. And Mean Girls. Mean, wow. Mean Girls. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. That's it. Show them at least one cool movie. Though there's two cool ones right here. Uh, I am Legend and Green Street Hooligans yep. are pretty dope. I don't know what this is gonna look like. No, well, it's okay. Oh, it's not bad. All that matters is it has a shower. Yep. Yeah. Shower. It's golden. Like, today we have a shower in our green room, so we probably won't at all. But if we don't have a shower at the venue, uh, it's just a great thing to have. We acquired ketchup and mustard uh, bottles yesterday from the venue because yeah. I forgot to take them From back. 1987. Yeah, yeah. The ketchup and mustard bottles from 1987. <laughs> Left <laughs> leftover alcohol. We just had two days off in a, uh, like, cabin in the Poconos, so we were, like, barbecuing, so it's, like, leftover, like, Barbecue sauce and s'more shit. Oh shit, they're gonna s'more shit. <laughs> I'm not eating that. Sweet, bro. My dad used to do we that. We just freaking cleaned the bus. Whatever, dude. We cleaned just it for this the video, bus. and the video's happening, so we can fuck it up now. <laughs> Alright, so we got two fridges here actually. Top one's usually for food, condiments, and stuff like that. It's a bunch of bullshit. Second one's always stocked with Monster. It's actually super stocked. Uh, I usually go for the Zero Ultra, the white ones. Oh, They're dope. But we play in like early Always. today, so I probably just gonna have one. Always rehabbing it. But yeah, for a sec. Um, Pink limited. Yeah, leave them up here for now, then we'll head to the back. These are all individual cabinets. This is our tour manager's cabinet, so he has like. And then this is Brandon Hoover with all the junk food. You still have those donuts from the like first week of tour, dude. They like <laughs> rock hard. <laughs> Funk Alley. It's usually just cool and quiet in here. Um, see, everyone's like. Curtains are shut, it's just a very, it's your own private area. You'll find all five of us just sit back here, chilling all yeah. times. Always, we're always like, practicing, writing new ideas, just coming, brainstorming everything, listening to music. Most music gets played back here. Um, we don't really play video games or anything back here, it's just it's pure music. Yeah, just hanging out, chill yeah, after the show. This is our like, but, like our, our mobile green room, I guess, yeah, we have, um, Say we have an acoustic set tomorrow, a radio thing, a spot or something like that. We'll have, you know, the singers back here with Brandon and acoustic guitars working out ideas. If we're, um, like on this tour, for example, we're doing off day shows, we play headliners, so we have to add a few songs. So, like, we'll come back here, either practice pad, they grab a little practice amps, and if we don't, if we're on the road, we can work on, like, the, the songs we're adding, just like refresh our memory, kind of stuff like that. So, um, it's so nice to have, like, there's a thing about bandwagons that they don't have a back lounge, they don't have a back area. It really just limits the, you know, the, that freedom of being able to do all those different things. So, yeah, like, this is so different from last time you guys saw us from when we were in that modified RV setup we had. That was just at so young in our career, we were, but we still had... A full crew we still had 12 people so like how can we accommodate 12 people on the road so they can all just sleep like that was like the primary goal like comfort wasn't even a thing yeah. uh, but now there's like the fact that we're on our third album and we're being held to such higher standards as a band we it's not like we're this comfort is like a luxury really it's just more of a necessity like 
to be able to come back here and work on music <coughs> or to be able to have that you know hour before the set for all of us to come together and get that vibe and get ready for the show comfortably helps us perform better and, it, and if we're being held to higher standards on stage we need to be able to prepare for that um, we're playing a song with Hollywood Undead the headliner of this tour um, Hayden Brandon and I so after the set, after our set, we have to come back here and like prepare to play another song again. And if we were crammed in that RV with all the bunks and the, like the bunks were the back lounge. Yeah. Like there wasn't, and like there were people sleeping in the front lounge. Like there wasn't a front lounge that was people's bunks. And it's just so, just it's, it's nice to be able to work and operate how we were supposed to, but we were like forcing it from day one. Now it's not forced, it's just, it's how it's supposed to be. And yeah, the bus is just, it suits us because we're, we roll so deep. Yeah. All right guys, thanks for checking out the bus on Bus Invaders. Make sure to pick up our reissue of The Resistance on October 30th on Rise Records. It's got some new songs and got some acoustic versions and some different reimagined type stuff uh, on that. So pick that up and See you soon. Peace out.